I'm Virginia Bottomley. I left Putney High School in 1966, a long time ago. Uh, I'm now in the House of Lords. I run a big search company. I'm a non-executive on Smith & Nephew. I'm trustee of The Economist and delightfully I'm Chancellor of the University of Hull. I started in the junior school, I can remember it very clearly, and uh, then my family moved away from Putney and came back later, so I then went into this senior school, so I had two stars, but I remember it very clearly. I was always divided, so my A-levels were history, Latin and maths, so I couldn't bear to make a choice. I didn't want to be arts or sciences or classics. With hindsight, it was probably an error, but it's a soft side of my personality. I like to see all sides of a problem. So I enjoyed history, because we had a wonderful history teacher. Um, but I enjoyed a lot of it. I remember going to work in a, one of those uh, uh, community centres in the East End. Um, I did quite a lot of little visiting old ladies and all the other worthy things that we all used to do then. But I think there just weren't the extracurricular activities then that there are today. If I talk to the students today, they have a really enriching, fulfilling time. Funny, I've been successful in politics, but I've never been able to recite a line. I can speak, but I can't read. Um, so, and I met some of my old friends. I keep in touch with my old friends. Catherine Davison, who lived in Lower Common South, she came all the way to Hull for the City of Culture this year, because I'm Chancellor there, and I was delighted. And then Theresa Gledo was a very dear friend, and she's godmother to my son, and Janice Gupta, who became the head girl. So my old friends, they're still there. I went to university, um, and I sort of got involved in politics there a bit, and this, that, and the other. Then I went to work for the Child Poverty Action Group for Frank Field, so he paid me £12 a week. Um, and he, of course, is a dear friend in the House of Commons. And so I went on. I worked at the Maudsley. I became chairman of the Juvenile Court in Brixton at the time of the Brixton riots. And I was only about 32, which is easily the youngest in the country. And that was a very serious, worrying time. I often said all the things I did in government, being chairman of the Juvenile Court at the time of the Brixton riots, was probably the hardest. In the House of Lords, I'm a backbencher. So I try and go a couple of evenings a week, and I'll try and speak once every other month or so. So I'm not full-time. It's not like being an MP. And I try and draw on the experience I have doing other things to actually make a contribution. So whether I'm talking about what's going on in Hull or I talk a lot about education, uh, I talk quite a lot about gender, about women, I talk about ethnicity and diversity, but often some of the sort of social aspects uh, and the social aspects as reflected in education or in business. I think the GDST is a really impressive organisation with a serious contribution to make. The fact that it's a network of schools that covers the country is important, so it's not just a London elite or it's not just a rural uh, school. It's got speaks with great strength and great authority. I like the fact they're like cousins, you know, they're a little bit of competition, um, friendliness, association. I think it's a really top-class model and all of them have the same values of wanting women to play their part, educate them as fully as we can, help them develop their skills and their confidence, help them to be good at losing as well as winning, as I've said in my own case. Um, and I know they'll go from strength to strength, I just think there should be more of them. 125th anniversary of Putney High School is marvellous and the 250th will be even better.